the idea and stereotype of yoga was, you know, a, a group of elderly ladies stretching in a room somewhere, you know, 60 minutes of relaxed stretching, when actually, in reality, yoga is so open to interpretation. All of the classes are completely different. Some of the classes I go to are, I would say, some of the hardest physical workouts I've ever done, as well as having the mental benefits and the stretching and opening as well. So there is a big strength foundation in yoga practice that can be sort of overlooked by men in general. Yoga has, has been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, it's an ancient practice. I think everyone on the planet should be practicing yoga. Um, there's a huge mental health epidemic at the moment. Um, a lot of people with a lot of stresses, with a lot of anxieties, and yoga is a tool to help people, men and women, um, even if it's meditation, sitting on your yoga mat, focusing on your breath, or to something a little bit more challenging, like an Ashtanga practice. Just get on a mat and practice it. So I teach all sorts of disciplines as well as yoga. Um, I'm a professional rollerblader. I do tightrope walking and balance boarding and I teach that as well. And I also do acrobatic yoga. When you have a consistent practice and you're working deeper into your muscles, then your flexibility, your range of motion just improves massively. So um, the benefits are um, postural alignment, first of all. So you'll find that your posture improves. Um, from the mental aspect of it, the breath work is really key. Um, once you start working with your breath, you realise that you can actually use your breath um, to take control of how you're feeling emotionally. The breath is the biggest part of yoga. That's what I always say, actually. Um, if you can just focus on your breath, then you're in the present moment. And that's what we strive to be during yoga. There's no past, no future, just focus right here, right now.